Hey, what's up everyone? This is Grady with Triple Z Resale. Today we are doing a What Sold on eBay video. This is a clothing edition video. I will be showing exclusively sales that happened in my eBay clothing store Fashion Meets Function. Uh, so we're going to be highlighting some concert t-shirts, uh, some interesting items, uh, shoes, both men's and women's clothing, and this is a good little slice of uh, what's selling on eBay right now and what's in style. So, what better way to start this video off than with an ugly cat sweater? Hello, it's almost Christmas time. People are getting ready for their ugly sweater parties and I sold an ugly sweater on eBay. All right, this is a cat themed sweater because the only thing more fun than an ugly sweater is an ugly cat sweater. So it has these, uh, it has these like uh, crochet looking uh, cats here on it at the bottom. It has Christmas ornaments. It's got a uh, button front. It's like a sweater vest. So I would say this definitely falls in the ugly category and it did sell for $15.96 with free shipping. This was an item from the Goodwill bins. So probably paid about a dollar for it. This is an item that just uh, that I just bought and it sold within two days. So Polo Ralph Lauren makes these rugby shirts. And if you go look up Polo Ralph Lauren, you know, rugby shirt, uh, you will see that they get a high price. These shirts tend to sell in good condition for about $50. They are desirable, they are collectible, and they are somewhat rare. So I uh, was at a yard sale and I bought one that was in bad condition. So I sold it really cheap and it sold, even in bad condition, it sold within a day. So let me show you the damage. Um, the buttons are broken and the top button is missing. Um, it has a little bit of staining to it and it just generally had pretty significant wear to this. And so I, you can see I even put in the listing title, I put damage just because I don't want any confusion from someone who thinks they're getting a great deal on this, but they think it's in perfect condition. And Nonetheless, it's still sold for $12.95. I paid a dollar for it. So it's amazing how you can turn $1 into 13, even on a shirt that has damage. This is an item uh, that I got at the Goodwill outlet, uh, brand new with tags still. Um, Denim and Flower is not a brand that I'm familiar with. Uh, there's not a ton of this brand selling on eBay, but nonetheless, this sold within two days for a full price of $19.95 with free shipping. This is one of the first items I took pictures with my new camera. I got a Canon EOS Rebel 700D camera specifically to take better pictures on eBay. I'm trying to up my game and man, these pictures look good on this shirt. So this was, uh, this was a good sale and I'm happy it sold so quickly. Who doesn't love some overalls? You can go 90s style with like one of them undone, like uh, TLC style, or you can, you know, be more like, I'm going to wear these in my garden and they're just a functional piece of clothing. So either way you win with overalls, coveralls, jumpsuit, dungarees, whatever you want to call these. So these are corduroy. They're like a kind of salmon color uh, corduroy material. Um, they're in very good condition. They have a pocket on the leg, which I thought was kind of cool. Check that out. There's the leg pocket. Um, so these are women's, uh, overalls by J. Jill. J. Jill's not a super valuable brand, but it seems like, um, with, uh, with overalls that they're quite popular, um, and they sell well. This sold for full price, $29.95 with free shipping, and it sold within, uh, a week of being listed. All right. This is a, uh, vintage, probably 1990s New York Giants corduroy, uh, baseball hat, um, I just thought this had cool style. I don't remember where I picked this one up, but I probably paid a dollar for it. Oh, there you can see the tag. So if you want to see, figure out how you can tell it's vintage in this case, uh, come on tag. The tag uh, is just old. It looks it looks old. It doesn't have a barcode on it. Uh, it doesn't have a style number on it. Um, it does have the NFL logo, and you can tell by the yellowing that this this tag is somewhat old. So I think this item, if I had to guess, I would say is uh, you know between like. 20 to 30 years old probably so um it sold for full price at 19.95 with free shipping and no surprise it sold to someone in new jersey someone close to the giants it's a giants fan who would wear this hat all right here is another scully vest i've had five of these vests and um i have one left 
I have one left. All the other ones have sold. They've been selling between uh, $25 and $40, depending. I have been taking best offers on them. I believe this one sold for full price. It's very nice, very handsome. Scully is a high-end Western brand. And, um, you know, I was trying to cross market this vest because this is, while Scully is a Western brand, you know, this style, like if you look at the material, I mean, this could go in any number of, of fashion genres. So this could work for rockabilly. This could work for steampunk. This could work as uh, formal wear or for like a wedding. This could work for like a concert or performance, or this could work as, you know, a good old Western style vest. So um, there's a lot of appeal to this. They all have been selling fast, and I hope that last one sells. You'll see it coming up in another video. All right, this was probably one of the most interesting and fun things I sold in my clothing store this month. Uh, the brand is Girasol, um, and it has uh, it's a women's uh, jacket, and it just has the most fun animal design on it. Come on, picture. Why aren't you working? There we go. Um, so you can see it just has these these goofy kind of cartoonish like animals and um, it just is a very fun jacket. I get that the style is not the hippest style, but I don't care about being hip. I just care about selling cool clothes. All right, this was a fun one and this sold really quickly within two weeks. Um, I paid $2 for this at a yard sale. I walked into a yard sale and I just saw this hanging right on the end of a clothing rack and I immediately grabbed it and without without a brand, without really knowing like if this was professionally made or if this was like a handmade item. I just bought it because I am a nerd for needlepoint. If you've watched some of my other videos, you'll see that I do like buying needlepoints, even though oftentimes um, they're very slow to sell. I just can't help it. I think needlepoint is a cool art. It's kind of a vintage style craft. My grandmother used to do very high quality needlepoints. I still have one of her needlepoint paintings in my home. I guess it's not a painting, what, a needlepoint art? I have it hanging somewhere in my house. So um, yes, I'm a nerd for needlepoint, but this time it worked out just fine. This sold to someone in Thailand. Someone paid for shipping to Thailand. They paid $24.95 for this, and off it went in the Priority Mail International uh, box to Thailand. Now we're gonna move on to some concert and uh, other interesting t-shirts, basically. This is the interesting t-shirt section of this video. Um, I really love selling music and concert and, you know, like tour t-shirts. Um, they don't make me a ton of money, but I do make a profit on every shirt and I really enjoy selling them. So it's, it's still worth it to me. So this is, uh, the Charlie Daniels band 40th anniversary fire on the mountain. It has this really funny graphic with two raccoons, like next to a fiddle and like these like you know like it looks like iris flowers or something like that so i just thought this was a cool shirt it is a tour shirt so you can see there they've got all the uh all the different cities on the tour it looks like it was a big tour and um this sold for 24.95 with free shipping all right this is a boston fire department t-shirt specifically for ladder 15 engine 33 so um i don't always buy fire department t-shirts but this one caught my attention and i noticed that this specific shirt actually has a good track record of selling on eBay, and the Boston Fire Department is, you know, world renowned for their culture and quality. Um, so this sold for $14.95. It sold to someone in California. A few days after I shipped it, they sent me a message saying, hey, why is this item in Georgia? Um, it should have gone straight to California because I'm in Southern Arizona. They're in Southern California. It's really, really close, right? Like it would theoretically make sense that it would go basically from like Arizona straight to California, but no, the postal service sent it to Georgia. So, um, I sent them a nice message back and just said, Hey, they sent it on a U.S. tour. Um, uh, that happens sometimes. Don't worry. Uh, I'm sure it will be rerouted. And then I reconfirmed with them the address I sent it to in California because I think they were worried I had sent it to the wrong address. And then they messaged me back and said, thanks. And so, and then they got the shirt the next day. It showed up in California a day later and probably got delivered the day after that. So, um, sometimes that postal service, they, they do weird things, but this person got their shirt, and as far as I know, they are happy with it. A vintage style misfit shirt. So I say vintage style, meaning it's not actually vintage. This is like a modern shirt, um, you know, made in like the last 10 or 15 years. But it has a vintage design on it. So it's got a, a cassette tape with the misfits, like skull and misfits logo on it. And um, I just thought it was neat. 
I, I, I'm a fan of the punk rock. I used to go to a lot of punk rock shows. So there's a sweet spot in my heart for this kind of music. And I have listened to the Misfits on cassette back in the day. So this sold for $14.95 with free shipping. This was a Roger Waters live t-shirt um, specifically from the Boston show in 2010. So this is a very specific shirt um, that probably will only appeal to a very small segment of people. But the right buyer found it and they paid uh, almost $60 total, including the purchase price, to have it sent to Germany. Um, so Roger Waters was a member of Pink Floyd, if you're not up on that. Uh, he was a member of Pink Floyd, the classic rock band. And he's been touring, you know, on his own with his own band for a long time, um, you know, after Pink Floyd was done. And his shirts all sell well. I've probably sold, this is probably like the sixth, sixth. Roger Waters shirt that I've sold, and I've never had a problem selling them. This this is probably the last one that I have, is this Boston one. And look at that. Someone in Germany wanted it bad enough. They were willing to spend $60 to get this t-shirt. So uh, I hope it arrives safely. I hope they enjoy the shirt. I hope they wear it out to some cool spots and, and look like a hip German wherever they're going. Um, here's another concert shirt. This is for Carlos Santana. Um, and this was live at the joint in Las Vegas. So again, this is a very specific concert shirt that's only from one show or like one venue or whatever. Um, I don't know, maybe he had like a standing, you know, series of shows at this venue in Vegas or something. Um, and it, I took a best offer of $12 on this because I've had it for a long time. So I uh, took a low price trying to get it, you know, out of my store. Person took like a week to pay for it. I had to open an unpaid item case, but they did pay for it. Thank you, buyer, for paying for the shirt and off it goes. This shirt is for all you believers out there, all you Justin Bieber fans. This is from his, uh, what, his Purpose Tour. So he's got the lettering there that looks like, what, like Judas Priest style lettering. Um, big tour, lots of cities. Um, the cool thing about this shirt is that it's long sleeve, which is a little bit rare. It has Justin Bieber on the sleeve. I think originally I was trying to get like $60 for this shirt. I kept lowering the price, lowering the price, lowering the price. It took about a year to sell, but I finally did sell it for $21.56. This was part of a huge lot, a wholesale lot of concert shirts I bought. So I probably paid 2 to $3 for this shirt, and I'm happy that it sold. I've got another Justin Bieber shirt from the same tour uh, still for sale in my store. Here's a uh, Gwen Stefani uh, concert tour t-shirt. Let's see. Um, from the Sweet Escape tour, you can see all the cities there on the back. It's got, you know, kind of a sexy Gwen Stefani vibe to it, and um, it sold for $19.96. So again, it was great selling some fun concert tour shirts in the last month, and now we're going to move on to some shoes. Breaking the dry spell. I had a long run there where shoes were not selling well, and recently shoe sales have picked up incredibly. I don't know why that is. I don't know if something changed in um, the, the search algorithm on how uh, eBay's ranking my store. I don't know if I just listed some new shoes and so I'm having some sales, but I've had a number of women's shoes that I've had for a really long time have sold, so we're going to go through some of that. But first, I'm going to show you this super, super squeaky clean pair of Echo Men's Penny Loafers. They sold in a week for $49.95. I got these from another reseller who I do business with sometimes at a local store called The Resale Ranch. Hi, Jody. Thanks for the shoes. Um, and uh, she gave me a good price on these. I was able to make some money, and hopefully we both won on that one. So these shoes were in excellent, excellent condition, really, really clean, and... Um, they sold within a week for full price. So I'm grateful for that and happy they're on their way to the new buyer. I shipped them out yesterday. All right, here's another pair of men's dress shoes. These are made in Italy by Mercanti Fiorentini. Mercanti Fiorentini. You like my accent? No, it's not a good accent. I'm bad at the Italian accent. Um, but this, this is a pair of uh, Oxford toe cap shoes. They are really soft leather, good high quality leather but very soft and nice shoes, uh, you know, very professional looking. And they sold for, I feel like I took a best offer on these of $40. I think I took a best offer of 40, so they got $20 off the price with free shipping. Still a good deal for both of us. The women's shoes, this is a pair of um, soft brand, uh, like slingback high heels. 
Um, looks like they have about like a two to three inch heel on them and they were in very good condition. Soft is generally a reliable brand. It doesn't get a huge price, but um, you know, if you pick a pair of soft heels up in good condition for a couple of bucks, you're gonna make some money on them. So these sold for, um, I think I took a best offer of $18, but the buyer paid for shipping on these. So uh, I think in the end, they ended up spending about $26 for these shoes and I appreciate it. Thank you, buyer. This is a really, this is a really fun pair of Western style mules by Donald J. Pliner. Um, these sold right away within a week. I took a best offer of $35 for them with free shipping. Uh, I believe I paid $3 for these at a thrift store and they were in good condition and didn't need to be cleaned up at all. Um, Donald J. Pliner is funny because I have lost money selling them. Like there's been shoes that I've been able to sell by this brand, women's shoes, for up to $100 in the past. And other times I can't hardly get $20 out of a pair of them. So I don't know exactly why the price of, of Donald J. Pliner fluctuates so much. Um, maybe it's just that I'm picking, sometimes I've picked styles that aren't popular. Uh, you know, I do that sometimes. I'm not like totally on top of the trends all the time. And it's hard to predict what uh, kind of fashion people will be wanting. So Donald J. Pliner, I'm a little more cautious with now just because that brand seems to have a pretty wide range of sales prices. But these ones I knew would sell and they did very quickly for $35 with free shipping. All right, here is a pair of Echo uh, women's pumps with the bow on the front. I've noticed that high-end or, or good name brand shoes that have bows on them tend to sell well. Look at uh, uh, Salvatore Ferragamo, for instance. Those shoes with the bows always sell. So this pair of Echoes um, was not photographed terribly well. This front picture is overexposed. This was before I had my new camera. And um, just the quality of these pictures uh, just wasn't that great. They look a tiny bit fuzzy. The tone is a tiny bit off. And nonetheless, they still sold for $29.95, plus the buyer paid for shipping. So thank you, buyer. Yeah, a pair of cowboy boots. I like selling cowboy boots. I wish I, I sold more of them. Um, there's a lot of them in Arizona, as you might imagine. Like, a lot of people buy, you know, high-end cowboy boots, and they end up in thrift stores and garage sales and things like that. But a lot of times you have to pay $20 or more to get a pair of cowboy boots here, and I generally find the turnaround on that is not great. Um, like, these ones, I took a best offer of, of $29 on these with the buyer paying shipping. So in order for me to make any money, I should be paying at least less than $10, $10 or less, to make any money on these and i probably did pay ten dollars for these so in the end after fees and stuff i'm going to make ten dollars to spend ten dollars so it wasn't a great wasn't a great uh sale um but other times cowboy boots sell for a lot so overall i haven't lost faith in selling cowboy boots but i am more cautious about how much i pay for them this was a good sale this was a pair of doc martin's miranda uh like combat style boots with a leather toe cap um, they have uh, the Doc Martens. They have the classic features of Doc Martin shoes, which is the uh, the like airwear sole, that like sort of beige colored sole there. Um, and let's see, you can see there's like the classic logo, Dr. Martin's air cushion sold made made like no other on earth. So this is what they've been putting on Doc Martin shoes for decades. Um, you can see there's the bottom a little clearer, except, ha, they're made in China, these ones. So Doc Martens are an English brand, and they used to be made exclusively, I believe, in England, and now over the years they've become more popular, and um, now a lot of them are made in China. I have had Doc Martens where the quality has gone down since they've been made in China. Sometimes the, the, the shoes made in China are not very good quality, but this pair was uh, a good quality pair, and so I'm confident that uh, the person who bought them is happy. Um, and they did sell for a high price of uh, $79.95 with free shipping. All right, we're going to wrap this video up in a minute. We're going to end with two pairs of Stuart Weitzman uh, women's heels. So this is a, uh, a pair of slingback heels. Um, they are, let's see, what is the material on these? Is this a suede shoe? No, these are not suede. These were like a, like a fabric material. Again, with the bows on front, and they have the little cute open toe there. Um, and like they have kind of like a, you know, a, a wide kitten heel or, or whatever. Um, and these sold for $37.95. This was a nice pair of pumps. It had a like a faux snakeskin print on it. 
Um, this person messaged me and said, I have a formal event coming up next Thursday. Like, can you guarantee they'll arrive by Wednesday? And so I looked up, you know, like the date and the shipping zone. And I was like, yes, they will definitely, if you buy these today, I will ship them tomorrow and they will arrive. I think I told her on Tuesday or Wednesday. So she, she bought them and off they went. And I hope these worked out for whatever wedding or party or corporate event or whatever it is that this that this person was doing. I hope these shoes worked out for you. Thanks for spending thirty nine or thirty seven dollars and paying for shipping on these shoes. This has been a good cross section of the clothing items that have sold in my eBay store and the prices that I am getting. I'm really happy with the quality of my photos that I've been taking lately. As you can see in this video, some of the some of the items that were photographed a long time ago, like you can see the difference in photo quality versus the ones that were just recently photographed and sold. So I'm really happy that my listing game is up tight, that I'm stepping it up a little bit, and it's reflected in the prices that I'm getting on these items. So it's really interesting to see how well clothing sells on eBay. I know a lot of resellers are doing Poshmark or they're doing... Uh, Etsy or they're doing you know whatever other venues they're doing Instagram like selling all kind of vintage stuff on Instagram or whatever um, I, I'm sticking with eBay because I find that clothing is selling really well in my eBay store Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it subscribe to my channel hit the like button and I will see you on the next one. Have a great day